So guys, today I got for you another huge drugstore makeup haul. And do you know why? Well, because I really love affordable makeup that performs well, and that's why I regularly go to the drugstore and check what's new out there. And in today's video, I will be trying on everything. So in case you would like to find out what's on my face and what's near the drugstore, make sure to keep on watching this video that I've actually already filmed, but forgot the intro. So here I am asking you to subscribe to my channel right now if you're here for the first time and like beauty and of course please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and once you're done with that I will show you how much of new makeup and how many great makeup items I've recently purchased from the drugstore so let's get started So hello and welcome everyone to another makeup video, which I haven't filmed for you in a while, so sincerely hope you will enjoy watching this pretty big drugstore makeup haul. I got some brand new makeup products and others that I've been wanting for a while, but before we dive right into that, I first want to get my hair out of the way, because I don't like to have it in my face while I apply makeup, and for that I will use this brand new hair cloth from Catrice's collection Car gauche and there were other items but I really liked this since these are very trendy at the moment I thought that I will do myself um, a little of these uh, hair claw hairstyles very easy very simple and another thing that I want to let you know is that I got a new shirt I know it's off topic but I would like to have your opinion if you like it or not because it seems like a little bit big for me. I pair it with my favorite super old pair of jeans and the color story is amazing. Fabric feels super luxurious and my nickname could be Lady Shirt because I have so many of them but isn't this situation a little bit out of control, please let me know. And while you're doing that, I'm getting started with my primer because I've already moisturized my skin and today I will be applying these products, watching them for you. So I'm not sure if I've already shown you this um, Fix and Last Makeup Dripping Jelly Primer that should be hydrating and refreshing from Essence, but I love it. I've been having uh, it for a while in my collection now and it has this jelly consistency that's similar to the e.l.f. jelly primer and it really makes a difference in terms of uh, makeup longevity so it sinks right into the skin smells a little bit alcoholy although it is free of silicones and alcohol but the scent is you know a little bit um, alcoholy that's how I would call it and I will apply it all over my face today I will actually also use a pretty high coverage foundation so it will stay anyway but with this primer i mean like it will last till the very minute i will take it off and voila it is already in my skin and has a bit of a tacky finish so the foundation can grip on top so this new foundation that I have is HD Liquid Coverage Foundation that lasts up to 24 hours by Catrice. I got it in 010 Light Beige and it is mattifying, water and sweat proof with niacinamide that I've been seeing in so many face products recently and it has this dropper um, applicator and it's not very liquidy so I will show you maybe like the swatch on the back of my hand and it is really mattifying and full coverage which I actually enjoy because I have rather oily skin it is actually com com combinational like I have a lot of oily parts and then some dry parts on my face but this foundation I mean like it covers everything and you know I'm a big fan of mixing different foundations but today since I don't have anything that new I thought I will just apply it uh, first spread it with my fingers like I usually do and then I also got a really cool brush from Catrice that looks like this actually it's for the concealer but I will use it all over my face because it's really small and it's fine. So 
I really like how it makes the foundation look super seamless and professional. It has an interesting shape that gets in every single corner of my face. And I still have some pigmentation over here, so maybe I need to apply another layer. And you know what I really love about this foundation? It impressed me so much that although it is truly mattifying, it still looks like skin, so it's not cakey, not drying. You might want to use a bit more hydrating and dewy primer with it if you have very dry skin, but it works really well with this Essence one too. And they're both super affordable. So now the base makeup is done and I want to go into the eyeshadows. And they are from a new brand for me that is called Re R Rival Me. <laughs> and it's really affordable and I am a big sucker for liquid and cream eyeshadows. I love the application of them. I love the natural glossy look. And these two are very, very nice. So there is this one, which is Magic Eyeshadow, and it looks just like a skin color, very pretty. And then there is Eye Gloss, so it has more of this reflective iridescence to it. So I want to apply the natural one uh, that's called O1 Surprise first, and then we'll see how that goes. So there is this applicator, and I will just apply it on my lid and then spread it out first with my fingers. And by the way, did you notice that my nail look matches my overall look? Love when that happens, guys. So you can tell it's very easy to use it. Just look at it. Boom, eyeshadow is done. Love it, it was literally like two or three euros and the effect is unbeatable. So it looks really, really pretty and I thought I will swatch it for you on the back of my hand. So this is how one stripe looks like and then when you blend it out, it has this very natural skin-like but a little bit shimmery, a little bit gold, bronze uh, shift and I love it so much. You guys, I am obsessed. So what would you say? Should we check out this one? Let's swatch it first because I haven't tried it out yet. Ooh, look at it. <gasps> wow, this is quite intense, but it goes well with my nail. So let's top it off with it. Oh yeah. Okay, so it's not too much. Maybe I should apply a bit more right here. Ooh, that's beaming. Can you see it? Ooh, that's intense. Ooh. Okay, we can actually leave it because I have some slightly bluish uh, light, you know, silver elements. So. I'll go to the party afterwards, like a fast for Ukrainians here in my village. So I will be the most overdressed person there. Oh my god, I almost totally forgot to show you this. So check out what Essence has just released. There are actually three palettes and Contrice did that too, like Disney inspired. Once again, loved the colors and the palette smells very, very pleasant, like powdery and a little bit uh, sweet. And uh, maybe I should apply a little bit of this color. Just look at it. It's so fun. So um, yeah, let's apply it somewhere. I don't know where, if it's even a good idea or not. Because you know that feeling when you have some new products and you want to play with all of them? That's me right now. So maybe it will get out of control. I'm not sure. But um, these are not very pigmented, so this is the very, very blue. And it's sort of cool at first, but then you swatch it. Where should I do that? It's a little bit hard to blend, see? So the same is with this blue. It's just a little bit not enough. Maybe for those who don't want a very pigmented look, it's fine. There's actually a matte blue. And I just need to, you know, 
stand there forever and blend these, uh, but it's fine, it's fine. Maybe this purplish shade will be nice. Oh my god, that was like a big mistake, Jana, what have you done? Okay, I just transformed my eyeshadow into purple, but I think it's still quite lovely. Okay, so I take my where it's a bit back. Some of these are really pigmented. Oh my god, I did not expect this color payoff, so maybe now I should apply some of this. This is actually very, um, I don't know, Disney and princess like color for me. It's just like, you know, a fairy tale. Okay, so this is a little bit too purple and too woo for me. Let's, let's, let's try this. Maybe it's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be very highlighting. So maybe better for this part of my face. Oh my God, you guys, I think I went all bored with everything. Uh, we'll apply a bit of this. See how chunky? See? No, you can't see, that's my problem too. You can't see the Color. That's why I prefer Colourpop, but I couldn't resist. It's so, so lovely. My god, I hate my look now. <laughs> I should have left it just at those creamy eyeshadows, but I wanted to show you this because it was a bit pricey, like more than 10 euros, so I needed to show you that. <laughs> but I need to do something with this. So how do you like it now? It's a bit better, right? So now let's finish off the eyes. Of course, I will First apply my primer that I use because otherwise mascara will leave these panda under eyes on my face that I am not the biggest fan of. And now I want to check out for the first time with you guys this Mascara from Essence. They've just launched it. It is another volume mascara, just better. And I love the previous one so much, so I'm excited for it because there is hyaluronic acid and pantenol in there, so it's gonna be hydrating for the eyelashes. This is how it looks and um, it feels heavy because it's new. Oh, this is the brush. I love more curd brushes and there is a lot of product on it but let's check it out so this is my first time wow okay i just barely touched my lashes and the volume is definitely there i have this eye shape so mascara won't always touches my lid and i need to be really careful and light-handed with it but isn't that like a crazy mascara? I barely applied anything and just look. Ooh, I'm really glamorous today. Whoa, 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 you guys. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. So I just want to show you no mascara, amazing, absolutely out of this world volumized mascara. I highly recommend you this one, I'm impressed. This product is super cool. I mean like Essence mascaras, especially in these tubes, are beautiful, but this is probably my favorite one so far. If I went heavier on it, my eyelashes would be like... <laughs> noticeable from space, I guess. Wow. Do they touch my eyebrows? Let's do the check. Yeah, they do, right? <laughs> do you like that look or not so much? So I've just done this eye off camera and you know like you have a perfect eye and everything goes smoothly on it and the application is really easy and then there is another eye that uh, gives you a lot of struggle. That's the side for me and I like uh, this one better, but 
it's fine, it's fine. And now guys, onto the really cool product, also from the brand Rival Me, which is a part of their Blooming Beauty limited edition series like the previous eyeshadows I've shown you. And this is not only a very lovely looking transparent powder, it has different color correcting parts. And when you mix them all together, I will do that with this brand new powder brush that I got from Essence that is super soft. So it is quite powdery and when you mix it all together and apply all over, it just smoothens everything. Well, you can actually see how powdery it is. It has a little bit of this white, um, white, <laughs> I don't know, whiteness to it, but the skin looks so perfected afterwards i loved it i was so impressed with it if you know more powders like this i would like to know more about them by the way i just can't how it matches my look i think i will leave this shirt but of course i want to know your feedback maybe you think it looks horrible on me but i noticed that another brand um florence or something like that it's like from clean beauty uh range has something like this, but not for three euros, uh, but 18. But I really, really want to check it out because maybe I found uh, the best powder that suits me because I just love the look of my face all day long after using this. So just in case you're in Germany and this brand is actually available at Rossmann truck store, you guys check it out. Mm, I love everything. And for highlighters and blush, I actually have two products. So there is this Disney Classics Dumbo, which is maxi blush and highlighter by Essence. And it is really cool, you guys. So when you swirl your finger in there like this, it looks shimmery and really, really nice. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this shift is so natural and very, very beautiful. And then there is this Blooming Beauty Luminous Blush and the effect is very similar to the Essence, but a um, bit less highlighty, okay? And a little bit more uh, blushy. So this is how it looks, very natural. So let's do the Rival Me on one side. I will use this <laughs> very, very cool, very, very soft um, brush from them. I'm telling you, I couldn't resist. And actually compare. So this is going to be more blushy, more rouge-like than Essence, which will give me more shift. Uh, or maybe I will apply on both sides really lightly because that goes well with my eyeshadows and I sort of like how this look turns out in the end and then I will apply a bit more of the highlighter now. See? Yeah, oh my god. I'm so excited that I'm going out Afterwards, I will apply it underneath my eyebrows like this because it just connects everything together. Because, you know, often I just do my makeup in this very glamorous style and stay at home and I hate that. So a bit on the nose and voila, oh my goodness. You can achieve a really beautiful look using really inexpensive products and that is so cool. All right, so we need to apply some setting uh, product on the brows and this one by NYX that is called Thick It Stick It has been so hyped by one of the beauty bloggers I watch. So I finally got it. It is really, really strong and I'm excited to use it because you guys, your look will be transformed once you apply a product like this and has these mini fibers. So it will add a bit to the um, texture of my brow. So let's check it out. Let me know if you like bushy brows or you like very polished brows because mine are always out of control. 
And now, last but not least, the lips. And I will go right into this lipstick, also from Catrice Collection. Looks very luxurious, very, very sweet um, dog right here. I'm not sure from which movie it is, but look at this beautiful color. I love it so much. Mm. Feels really luxurious and this um, shade is truly unique. It's like a little bit brown, a little bit peach, a little bit nude with a very soft reflection. Oh my god, you guys! That was definitely a very successful haul for me and I hope that was very enjoyable for you to watch. And you know, that was all for the makeup part, but look what I have here! These are such exciting products because when I saw that Catrice released this Disney Classics collection and although I'm not the biggest fan of Disney, I love beautiful presentation and these are body products. They have a few of them. Here I have body scrub and just look at this amazing tube. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with it. Haven't tried it out yet so maybe we can do that on camera. I actually got my mom a body butter and she loved it very much so I will definitely scrub myself nicely. Ooh, it's very, very uh, scrubby uh, all over myself, <laughs> all over me. Oh, very, very beachy like, smells like summer, smells like give me coconuts, give me cocktails, give me party. And um, I will do that because, you know, summer is coming, birthday is coming, friends are coming and I decided to self-tan myself for the first time in my life using this professional self-tanning mousse with coconut water in the shade light. It is pretty huge and there is this double-sided velvet tanning mitt, which is also professional. So I don't know, should I use it on camera or not? Just a little bit, just like a little pump probably. I should use it with this mitten, but I'm just too excited. No, I know that I should stick to the instruction because otherwise I will be covered into orange color. Ready? Let's do that. So, I'm a little scared. Have you ever sold tan yourself? Okay, nothing comes out. Now like a huge bump. Oh, it's actually pretty. Ooh. Because I have no experience in that. Well, it smells nice. Okay, I definitely need to scrub myself and then apply the self tanning and then I will be extra glamorous. I am looking forward to your feedback on a bunch of things I asked you, especially this shirt, really. I still have uh, this <laughs> so I can return it. And if you enjoyed watching this video, you would like to see more of these or maybe different style videos, please give uh, it a huge thumbs up. Let me know your feedback down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time or haven't subscribed yet. And more helpful information to previous videos and other interesting things you will find down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. And make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye, guys.